Zombie Apocalypse. Hey YouTube, what is going on today? It is Step One Gaming. I'm going to show you guys how to make your thumbnails more appealing for your YouTube channel. So you want to file new, you know the basics, 1280 by 720, and click OK. So you're going to want to get your rounded rectangle tool, and you're going to want to drag it, but leave a tiny bit of room. And you're going to want to go like that. And what you can do is you can go here, go to Stroke, so that way you can see the outline around it. You're going to bevel, contour, drop shadow. Do the drop shadow, do a nice distance like that. Uh, you can do inner shadow like that and give it that nice little feel and if you guys would prefer because it's going to do a white background around here anyway from YouTube um, what you could do is you can go right here and uh, take this one put this one behind it make it a tiny bit bigger on the sides and go and put it below it and you get that nice little pattern around it which looks really cool it makes it stand out a little more than the other plain thumbnails so if you go here and you take a picture, we're going to take the Call of Duty Advanced Warfare picture for an example. And you're going to want to go here, open and put it above it. And you're going to want to close it a little bit. And you see these little pink lines that appear on the angles. That's going to tell you if you're aligned with the border or not. If you go like that, and it looks pretty nice, right guys? So if you go here, we'll do episode one. It looks pretty cool. And you go here and we'll put it about in the middle, make it a tiny bit smaller, make it 60. And you go on and go like that, right? And we'll go here, go to bevel, bevel, we'll make it a little less. I always make it a tiny bit less. Texture, no, I'm not a big fan of texture. We'll do stroke, inner shadow. Um, <clears throat> sorry, my voice is a little bad. Uh, you want to go down to opacity a little down. Drop shadow, I like to do distance, distance, a little, a tiny bit of distance though, not too much. Uh, gradient, you're gonna wanna go to the little sh shadow kind of thing. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna lower it a tiny bit just so it gives it a little color and it gives it that nice, nice look. And then if you guys wanna do this, I like to do this. As you go to your ellipse tool and you wanna go like this. Make sure it covers the entire text. Go like this. And you can go like this, actually. Go like this. And I have it right here. Like this. And like this. And like this. Okay. Like that. Like that. Gotta align it. It's a little pain in the butt. Like that. And you can get that little cool episode one look. If you guys understand what I'm saying, I'll fix this a tiny bit like that. But it gives it that cool look, right? You, you guys understand what I'm saying. Uh, if you guys want to do the ellipse, you can go like this and give it a little uh, depth to it. Uh, you can add the stroke. Um, you can add the drop shadow to give it look like it's like popping out. You know, you could do a lot of cool things with it. Um, it's, it's Photoshop just has endless things you can do, endless designs. You know, you can always design it and give it uh, other looks if you guys want. You can make it black. It makes it pop out a little more, but I don't like it that much. I like to do drop shadow, uh, gradient overlay. I'm going to do this one. We should make it a little lighter. We could give that cool pattern to it. You guys can do whatever, you know, just make it pop out a little more. Make make your thumbnails stand out from the other thumbnails. That's what's going to get you those views that you guys would want or the subscribers. to be like, oh, look at this guy's thumbnails. You know, he does nice work. He does some good stuff for his thumbnails. Um, you know what's cool, too, is if you're focusing on, like, the text. Like, okay, let's say you're focusing on the words. You're going to want to which is fix this and fix this. So let's say you're trying to focus on the words color overlay. We'll make it black. You want to do it opacity. So you're gonna to want to go. So if you're just trying to focus on the text, what you could do, what happened to it? Why is this? Oh, oh that's what happened. So you want you could just bring down the opacity a tiny bit, and it could give it that cool, cool little like basically yeah, like a like a fog over your picture so that way you can focus on the text more or there's something that i really like to do is get, like take a png file or a white file and you're going to want to fit this to the screen like this so this is a, basically a hive and you're going to want to go and make the opacity low 
just just where you can see it. I want to go this over it, and you get that cool little pattern, but very faint. But it gives it that little detail behind it, and it looks so cool. And I like doing that. You could even increase it a tiny bit if you guys would prefer, like this, maybe like that. And you understand what I'm saying? It gives it that cool little look to it. Uh, this is my just my video, guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, if you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like. If this helped you out, you know, this is a, just a little tutorial I just made. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If, you, if we can get this video to 10 likes, I'll put out another tutorial on something else in Photoshop. And if you guys want to see, see some more videos from this channel, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you, guys.